Well, you know the saying, if you want something done right, do it yourself. I don't think we're going to change this man. I thought we'd won, but looks like it's the only way we're going to get his tractor clean. Doing it ourselves. Good morning, Argsy. How are you doing? I'm doing all right this morning. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. That's uh, another bold outfit there. Well, uh, I was actually washing your tractor for you, and I got a bit filthy with uh, all the muck and spray that washed off it, so I had to get changed. But, uh, this is all I had left. Is that my tractor? You didn't <laughs> recognise it. No, you didn't realise it was red underneath, did you? <laughs> I thought I had a brown tractor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, what are we doing? Harvesting? Enough shenanigans, yes. yes. Let's go and do some harvesting. Got the uh, three canola fields are all set up and ready to go. Well, combines aren't there yet, but uh, I have spent a little bit of time and we've got a couple of auto drive courses set up to uh, hopefully run a grain cart and also the trailer to bring in the grain back here to the silo. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that'll be fun. Hmm. Just mix it up a little hmm. bit. Oh, I just had so much fun enjoying watching you uh, in West Aussie this morning. I thought, let's carry on. Friend. Give it a whirl. I was sweating by the end of that live stream. <laughs> You did well. Impressive. Right. Hold your, hold, your, hold your focus. It does. It does. It really does. All right. Well, we'll see how we go. And uh, if it doesn't work, we'll just turn it off. Yep. Sounds like a plan. All right, mate. Uh, I'll let you take the new combine today. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to giving that a spin. So uh, if we get the tractor and grain carts down there and uh, then make a start, I suppose. Sounds good, man. All right. Have fun. See you soon. He was genuinely surprised, I reckon, how clean his tractor was. Look at that. Don't they look good? Look how good they look when they're both clean. Impressive. Right. Welcome everyone. Welcome back to No Man's Land with the farm sim guy and myself. As we've just said, we are harvesting again today canola. So we've got three fields to do, which are the two over on the, uh, what, whatever direction that is, I'm going to call the left of us. And then the one just over there, you can see it is looking nice and brown and dry and ready to be harvested. So uh, FSG's gone to get the trailer. I'm going to hook up here to the grain cart. Like I said, I have spent some time putting together just a little bit of an auto drive course. Uh, not too much, hopefully just enough to get the uh, canola back here to the silos. Uh, I did go all the way down to the shop and have a trigger for the shop and the cell point down there. But uh, for now, we're just going to use it for what we need it for, which is the canola down here. So we'll go down, we'll uh, set this one up. I'll turn the course on very quickly just so you can see what we've done. And uh, then we'll come back, grab a combine and get started. So there you go, there is our course. So we've got a two-way course running all the way down to the shop, which is what I've done. And then we've got the grain cart course here and the trailer one. So the grain cart should go around the loop and uh, come back here to wait. And you can see where the unload point is. And uh, the trailer should go and wait over there. It was a little bit wonky, uh, my controller. I've got to stop rabbiting on about it, but it really is frustrating to try and do some things in a straight line. But there we are, that is us all set up. So we'll turn this on, set it going, and uh, we'll go and grab some combines. Well, right, there we are. We've got that set on canola weight, canola grain cart unloaded, and it's telling us there's no harvesters found because I haven't set that up yet. We don't have them down here in the field. So if we go and grab those, once we're good to go, hopefully that's going to find us and carry on. So let's uh, go and find a combine. Oh, it looks very organised, dogs. Yeah, fingers crossed it works. It was funny, actually, you hopped out of the tractor and there was still someone sitting in it. It <laughs> looked a little bit strange, but uh should work out. So paid helpers. Yeah. So down here at the field we have got the uh, Blue Beast, the Class Dominator 108, uh, Mark Thor edition, in nice looking Ford colours. If, if, FSG did a preview of these and uh, they are a completely legitimate vehicle, a uh, completely legitimate combine, so uh, there's nothing fake about them. Some people do question the use of the blue colour but it is all authentic, so uh, very good to see. So I'm going to get started in here. We uh, had a chat before FSG is going to go and work in that field and we're going to do this one here. So get things up and running. We do see the header just changes there. It puts the canola knives on the edge. But uh, there we are. We're off and going. It's going to get along here with our cruise control set at 6 miles per hour. It'll be interesting to see how it all goes with the uh, grain cart. So I'm just going to set up a GPS course and uh, get things moving. Well right, and there we are, we are all up and going with our GPS nicely set and course up and running. 10% full, but just done this one pass. So it'll be interesting to see how full we get off this crop. Uh, it'll be interesting to see at what stage the auto drive kicks in and uh, heads over here to unload us. But we're going to head around the headlands 
a few times get the field opened up I do want to try and make sure we always have the auger on the uh, outside so that the grain cart doesn't come and try and drive over any of the crop so we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes but let's just uh, jump into a little bit of a montage here we'll try and get some lovely shots with uh, FSG there in the background and all of the parts of the puzzle working along harmoniously fingers crossed and uh, get these fields knocked out so we'll see you in just a little bit And here we go, this is our last little piece in this field and we are all done. FSG you can see down there is so just about done. And you'll notice the trailer is just on its way back from down in the tail point, or the tail point, down to the silo and dump our first load out of there. So the grain cart actually worked out really, really well. I was quite impressed with how that went. Um, we'll leave FSG to finish things off there. Um, I'm just wondering, we open our auger, whether the... Uh, whether the grain cart will come and empty us out or whether we might as well just run this back down. Everything's down here now, so uh so we'll see how it goes. Oh, there we go. The FSG will let them go past. But uh because the auger's out, it has detected us as needing an unload and gonna drive through the corner of the crop and come and pick us up. Like that, perfect. Excellent. I like it when a plan comes together. And uh, this one has come together pretty well. So both combines are emptied out, we're just going to get the canola out of the grain cart and into the trailer here. I don't know if there'll be enough to send it off down to uh, empty out, but uh, it won't be far off. If SG is on his way down to the other field, uh, we won't be too far behind. Now we're not going to use auto drive down in the other ones, uh, it's pretty close, so we'll probably just park the trailer and grain cart on the edge of the field and uh, just drive over and dump into those as and when is needed. I mean technically it's not that far to go from here to the yard either so we probably didn't really need it but uh, it was nice to get it working and up and going so uh, probably the first time I've used it where players are controlling both the uh, combines and auto drives doing the grain cart and hauling so uh, it was nice to see it working. Anyhow let's carry on and go and get this other field all sorted out. Don't mind if I stand here and ride a lap with you do you? Do you? Not at all mate, no. It's slightly uh, uncomfortable sitting in the cab looking at you though. <laughs> Oh, I suspect it's going to be slightly <laughs> dusty out here as well, but uh, at least you got my good side. Indeed, indeed. This is a pretty cool mod though, isn't it? It's the uh, Kubota Passenger Extension mod by GTX, which has added the uh, passenger capability to a number of different mods, including this one, which is uh, one of the base game mods. Very cool. That's right, it's great, isn't it? It's um, just adds another dimension. GTX always coming out with the good mods. Perfect on multiplayers. And I think there's there two positions on this, isn't there? I can stand here or stand at the back. That's right, you can, I think it's Control G will switch you over to the back set of ladders. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Pretend I just clambered over top of a moving combine to get here. Yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, you've got to have the Kubota DLC, don't you, as well? Yeah, correct. Yep. You can't download no, just indeed. the mod. Oh, that's very cool, though. Very nice little addition. Uh, it'll be interesting to find on other mods exactly where the additional position is and where you get to stand. That's right. Hopefully, maybe a few models will update their uh, mods as well if it's not already set up. Hmm. I can see you're not wearing your wedding ring from up here too. <laughs> it's something you should tell me. 
No. Okay. Everything's fine with me and the sheep. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that. <laughs> there you go. That is the view from uh, the passenger extension add-on. Very cool. So we're here in first person, standing on the side of the combine, looking down at the header. Very cool to be able to ride along here and uh, get that experience. And of course, if we uh, tab through to the other one, Control G, like FSG said, we can stand here in first person and uh, obviously survey the field and the crop and everything like that from this position. Uh, can't really see much of the pipe was out because it's on the other side. Very cool, very cool little add-on. So uh, we will finish the lap, we'll get back around to our combine and uh, we will come in and give him a hand at getting this done. Look at the concentration of this combine operator. His head is turning left to right as he keeps an eye on the header, making sure he's maximising the width of the pickup. Not damaging any crop, not missing any crop and not leaving anything behind. Keeping an eye out for any foreign object that might be entering into the header and potentially being sucked up into the feeder housing. This guy is on fire. He is a prime example of a truly skillful combine operator. Let me off up here. I'll jump out and uh, do some work, eh? Very good. That'll be uh, $23, please. And a tip if you want to leave one. Here's a tip. Wash your equipment. <laughs> Touche. I'll give you that one. <laughs> there we go. All right, well after those shenanigans of riding around on the combine, it's a very cool mod, but we are back into harvesting here. Uh, FSG set us up with some GPS courses, so uh, we're all good to go here, I think, and get this field finished. So we'll uh, get spun around, we'll uh, work our way across, and uh, we'll catch you when it's finished. We're going to put this on a little bit of a time lapse, and uh, let's plough through this field as efficiently as we can, as we always do. So we'll see you when we're done. And with this little pass, the canola is complete. Very, very nice to see that all finished. Now, oh, I was going to say, I wonder if FSG needs to come back and unload into the trailer. Looks like he might have to. All right. Or maybe he's going to go around and unload from the other side so we can unload at the same time. Very clever thinking by the man. There we go. We'll uh, get this put into here. There's not a huge amount. And uh, we will be finished for for harvesting for now. Obviously next will be our uh, corn or sunflowers possibly. Maybe even the soybeans, one of those three crops will be next on the list. Alright, there we are. That is empty, so we're going to get this put over by the shed. We might give it a wash off before it goes back away. And uh, we'll come over and grab these trailers and get them all unloaded into the silo. And we'll be able to see how much canola we've ended up with today. Alright, there we are. That's looking much cleaner. And uh, someone wanted his one clean too. Dropping a hint by parking it right there. We can do that. Hopefully he is grabbing tractors. There we go. He has grabbed the... Uh, 
trailer emptied out and we're probably going to grab the grain cart next so uh, we'll be able to see what we've ended up with in canola oh there we are nice looking pair parked up and in the shed for now like if G is there he is getting the last of the canola put into the silo so we'll go over and have a look see what we've ended up with here should be a bit decent amount maybe 50,000 thousand litres we'll have a look harvest done for another year rocks I need the canola oh it's true we haven't got the corn and the sunflowers corn sunflowers soybeans 54,000 litres of canola though, it's not bad. Not a bad effort. It's a nice balloon, isn't it? Um, looks like we only have to wait till November for best price as well. Oh, good. It's a good crop to have in then, isn't it? So, what's the plan now? Do you want to, uh, we talked earlier about maybe getting some digestate spread on these couple of fields close to the farm? Don't have to haul it too yeah, far. Yeah, we have got a lot of digestate, don't we? So. Yeah, and then we might be able to get these uh, fields worked down and maybe something planted in it soon while we're waiting for these other crops. Yep, that sounds like a plan to me. Very good, and uh, your combine's nice and clean, sir. You're welcome. I saw that. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I, w I won't ask you for a tip. <laughs> I couldn't think of one off the top of my head then. I was so disappointed in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would have been prepared with that one. <laughs> right, let's uh, go and spread some you-know-what. Indeed. All right. Well, I don't think it matters which track do we take, so uh, as he has mine, I will take his. And uh, we'll head on over here. Now there is, I think there's about 100,000 litres of digestate we talked about a little bit earlier. We'll just have a look. Pull up next to here, I think, is our fill point for the digestate, if I remember correctly. Ah, it's not going to tell us how much there is. We can look in the production chain and see, though. So 97,000 litres, and we've just taken out 10 or 11,000 litres, or whatever the capacity of the slurry tanker is. 8,000. So about 105 we would have had. That's not bad. So we're going to get it spread onto these fields, it makes sense to do it on the ones close to the yard and then we don't have to travel quite so far back and forth with uh, shuttling the digestate and uh, we can get it straight into the fields. So we'll just crack into here, we'll try and set up a GPS course so that we can share with FSG. Now I think for this one we will just go straight through and do fields on both sides. So we'll uh, get this set up and get into it. Alright, course created, let's see how we go. Hopefully we've got the width right. And uh, everything is working. There we go. It looks to be going on just perfect. So we've created the course. We've saved it for FSG there so he can come along behind and pick that one up. So uh, everything smells like roses. Probably not. But it seems to be working perfectly. So uh, we will crack into getting these fields spread. I'm not sure how far we will go. But uh, what? 105,000 litres and 8,000 litres a pop we've got. 10, 12, 13 loads or so, so uh, it's going to go a decent way to getting a lot of this land done over here. Be able to go over and do the field that had the uh, wheat and canola in it too, if we need to. So, let's uh, crack into this, get another little time lapse I think is in order, so we'll see you when we're done.
Well, well, there we are. We are pretty much done. I am just running along doing this a little bit because I put the digestate in the tank without realising how close we were to being finished. But uh, that's alright. We can probably go and pump the rest of it into the uh, fertiliser production. Some more fertiliser being produced in there. So we'll let FSG turn around and do that last little section. But that's gone pretty well. Very, very well indeed. Uh, always seems to be efficient having two tractors and two bits of kit running at the same time. So we'll go and get this uh, what, four and a half thousand litres pumped into the uh, fertiliser production up here and uh, then I think we might wrap things up there. I think that's going to be a perfect spot to uh, finish for the day and uh, look forward to what we're going to do next time. Here we are, we'll just pull in here and uh, we should get a trigger. There we go, we've got it already. We start unloading some digestate and uh, we'll probably have to turn on whatever the production is for this one. Let's have a look in here, uh, one of the fertilizers it'll be, that one there. So we've got liquid fertilizer, we've got uh, we've got digestate, we've got water, so we should be able to activate that and get some uh, more liquid fertilizer being produced. There we go, Ox, another killer day on the farm, getting through a lot. Yeah, plenty of work done again, nice to get all that canola harvested. I was just doing some maths, I reckon if we sell it, the peak price is about 60 grand worth of canola, so bad. Jeez, oh, that's... Uh... Not bad at all, is it? Hmm, and uh, free fertiliser on the fields already. Good. Absolutely, yeah, we're almost completely self-sufficient now, aren't we? If Getting we make there. our own seed... Yeah, well, that's what I was just looking at in that production point. We could actually dump some canola or something in there and get some seed production underway too at some point. That's right, and then we don't have to worry about anything again. Hmm. Maybe some corn once that's ready because that's uh, two units at lower cost. Yeah, good call. Good call. Hmm, see thinking about the economies of it all as well as the plastic. Exactly, exactly. Nice one. Well, that was uh, good fun as always, mate. Yeah, man, good fun. Thank you. We'll uh, look forward to catching up with you again next week. Yes, indeed. Have a good week. You too. And I'll bye. catch you soon. Yeah, mate. Take care. See ya. Take care. Bye for now. Well, there we are, folks. Thank you for watching another episode of No Man's Land with myself and the farmsome guy. I think he's looking at his tractor going, is it really my tractor? Is it really that shiny? Yes, FSG, when you clean your equipment, it is really that shiny. So there we are on that bombshell. We will call things quits for today. I uh, look forward to catching up with you all again next week. But from the farm sim guy and myself, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed that episode and we'll catch you in the next one.